Hi, Master Peter C. Russo here again with another Defender story, this time about a Defender 1, a standard carry. So this story comes to us from Cuba. That's that communist island out there. Alejandro Jesus, a good friend of mine, who I'd known in the States, went down there for an extended stay, and a really extended stay, and um, ended up having to use his tool. There was a particular person along a particular pathway uh, and uh, a um, staircase in a certain place that always harassed him and uh, called him names, and uh, that was okay. But when uh, he and his wife went through, or his wife was coming through there, uh, he said to the wife, you had no right to even be on the staircase, get away. And Alejandro heard that, and he came down the staircase to meet the guy and said, Hey, say that to me, not to her. And, um, a fight ensued and that fight didn't last, but fractions of seconds because Alejandro first hit him, I guess above the eye. And this guy was throwing punches at him and Alejandro was blocking and hit him and, um, then ended up, um, coming down with the the little nooks and crannies here, right down along the neck, slicing on his way back. And he turned it around and this guy was coming up, up higher and bang, you know, right in the rib cage, right, right below the, the ribs where the ribs ended. And by that time, the cops were trying to get this guy off. And, um, the guy hit one of the cops and they all tumbled down except for, Alejandro, and he just kind of put his tool up on a ledge and came on down. And the cops asked him, you know, well, uh, were you punching this guy or this is defending himself? And the guy is bleeding. And um, they, they put the guy in the back of the, of the cop car. And then uh, they asked some more questions and they asked, uh, Alejandro to come down to the police station. And so what he did, he walked down there and entered the police station, asked a bunch of questions. And I guess the guy that attacked him was a previous cop, Cuban cop. And apparently they don't have a lot of hand-to-hand combat training. And so the cop buddies asked the adversary, Alejandro's attacker, and, you know, why are you bloody? Where am I bleeding? And he is bleeding there, Blair. And my side hurts really bad. And he looks at his side, huge bruise. And how did all that happen? And I have no idea. And um, but uh, they looked at, and they looked at Alejandro's hands and no defensive wounds, no knife, no nothing. So, um, moral of the story is uh, it lasted fractions of seconds. One guy who. Um, was bigger than Alejandro. And um, I guess he learned his lesson, but there you go. So a simple punch with the defender and uh, on the return, raking back with the nooks and crannies, flipping it over, boom. And this, by the way, will come in in another story is how you hold it if you want to act like a push knife. Good reasons for that, by the way. Actually, <laughs> Several good reasons for that. I am Master Peter C. Brusso, and I will see you on the map, on the web, or in the real world. Have a safe day.